Hey YouTube, it's All Things Pretty. I am coming to you with an update on my craft room. I had some time today to go ahead and do a mini makeover. This room I had done previously, um, I think I did it in the summer, last summer, and I was loving this space. And somehow I ran out of storage, and so things just kind of were placed randomly all over and it started to be a cluttered area and I could not even think or even use the space effectively so today I gave it a haul so let's take a look I'm just pulling out panning back out of the doorway okay so this is actually a sitting area and those pillows that are in the chair I did make those it's one of the crafts that I like to do every now and then, every now and then. And this uh, ottoman here is actually storage. So there are some things that I was not able to fit on the shelf that I put in there. Back behind the chair, you see that little black thing. That's my clay oven and my Sizzix machine is back there. In this cart, I have... Oh, on top of this cart, this is my coin purse that I received from Cats Perfect and my Cats Perfect bracelet, which I still have in here because I just don't want it to get tangled up in my jewelry box. And in here are just um, charms that I've made, charms that need to be finished, and uh, resin items to be used. And then here is my nine square organizer it has yarn in there because I like to crochet um, there's fabric in some of those bins the plastic bins has my polymer clay items um, I have a cuddle bug that I don't use often but I intend to use it this is my cuddle bug right here these are findings this is some more jewelry findings and then on top on display this is a paint can that I decorated which I like this because I can put things in here and it's neatly um, displayed. These are my items from my trade with the Rachel Joy. These are the things I absolutely love and so I wanted them to be out for everyone to see. This is the tile that I made, one of my favorites. A uh, picture of me. Okay, and I'm going to pan back a little bit. This is my workspace. My desk area. Down there in the bottom right in that white, that's my sewing machine. And just little random items that I might use. There's some tiles that I use to work with my clay. And just little random things here. And this is what I purchased today. The storage unit. And all of the baskets and the plastic bins. I purchased the storage unit from Home Depot. It was $29 for this five tier, four tier, sorry, four tier storage. And it's pretty sturdy. And I bought it because I needed something black to match that wasn't expensive. These baskets I got from Michaels. This basket was $1.99. This was $1.99. This was one that I had. These bins were on sale at Mark Michaels. These are the scrapbook bins, just so you see. These were $4, so I bought six of those. And I had a Michaels gift card that I used for my husband for Christmas. So in here I have all of my glitters. And then here I have stickers. Here I have stationery. These are pieces that I've already made and packaged. Down here I have all of my molds. This basket here is a large basket. It was actually $3.99. Then out here I have my paints, my amazing mold putty, more molds. And on the bottom, it's kind of dark down there, but I have a pasta machine, my bamboo um, drawing tool so I can make my own art, uh, my crochet uh bin and then some more bins when the top one is this is um stationary stickers and those two are empty okay 
and then I'm turning around here that's just a big big window and then here is a table this is actually two coffee tables that I just put together and used them as like um, as you could see to house pictures and things underneath it's the matching ottoman to go with the one that has storage but there's no room really for it and then here is my printer and my Cricut machine so there you have it my revamped craft area so hopefully with the new storage I won't have to monopolize the kitchen space because what I was doing was this all of these pieces that are in here these are just a handful of the ones that I haven't finished that need to be sanded and glazed and you know all that jazz but they were covering the kitchen table and so I needed to get rid of that because I don't like clutter but my husband really hates clutter so there you have it my craft room makeover thank you guys for watching please comment rate and subscribe happy crafting